everybody, it's Maureen of Maureen 97 Designs and I have a quick update for you today. This is regarding the 2020 Spooky Box from Fat Quarter Shop. I actually finished my project so I wanted to come back on real quick and share with you what I did with it and what became of uh, the mistake or the change I guess I made in the pattern. So if you don't want to see the finished product, turn your turn your video player off right now because I'm going to show it. Okay, so let me zoom out all the way so I can show you this. And I can't get the whole quilt under my camera, but basically I wanted to show you the thing that I mentioned in my last video, which if you haven't watched it, I will put a link up in this corner was that the triangles were supposed to go in opposite directions on the top and bottom but I sewed them exactly the same way so they both came out facing the same direction um, and the consequence of that was because the back of the the colored triangles wasn't on the bottom the points kind of got a little bit lost in the binding these two actually kind of survived it but these two on the outer uh, the outsides kind of lost their little points so oh well you know I'm a beginning sewer quilter everything so I'm just happy I finished it especially before Halloween so you might be able to see oh yeah you can definitely see I did the quilting myself on my home machine and I use Westerly rulers with a ruler foot and basically I just did the circles on quilts um, all over the focal panel and then on the side borders I did these little back-to-back -back two inch circles and then on the triangles I did just straight lines to make a triangle within the triangles and that's it and so you can see that I actually did what I said I was gonna do I made a scrappy binding out of whatever fabric was left over um, if I was to do it again, or my advice to you would be don't use the white fabric for your binding if you're going to use your leftover fabric because um, it just blends into the, the body of the quilt. So I would definitely just use the orange, purple, and black fabrics to make a scrappy binding. But I think it came out really well, the, the scrappy binding. I do have some larger areas that were just like really big pieces of fabric. I might have wanted to cut that up into maybe a two or three pieces instead so I wouldn't have such an expanse of orange right there but you know these things are all little details and I wouldn't get too worried about it so anyway I'm gonna put a still picture of this so you can see the whole quilt sorry it's not a good picture it was in the corner of my my craft room and there's no light back in that corner but I had to find a place to hang it up so anyway thanks very much for watching I'll be back with another video soon but until then I'll see you next time